Commander Zmoni, that the lags were to Parliament. I've just collected a report of a learner who passed very well, by the way. It's a girl child. And, but the message is I just had a meeting with the school. I won't mention the name of the school because the problem that I'm about to raise is a problem that exists in all schools. We've got in South Africa government schools with a lot of foreign students, right? And that's not a problem. But the problem is when the foreign parents refuse blatantly to pay school fees and then tell the school that that's a government school and hang up on schools. So that means that the government and our schools and our tax paying money must make means for schools to continue because we can't just allow the schools to collapse and dilapidate because we don't have parents. We have parents from outside the borders that are not paying school fees. So the message is simple. When the schools open, all government schools next year, you are going to organize yourself, prepare a database of all the parents that did not pay and we'll split the database. Those that are coming from, from other countries, we are going to make sure that their embassies pay the school fees. We are not going to have schools suffering because people are not paying their, 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 their uh, school fees and they're giving nonsense excuses and come the year, they collect reports and disappear. So even the South African parents, we must take accountability as parents. We can never ever neglect paying school fees. When you bring a child to a school, you already know how much the school fees is. Because when we don't pay the school fees, that means when new kids come into the school, they're going to find a school without soccer fields, without, without proper gardens, and without, without proper toilets, because the school doesn't have enough budget to take care of itself, and now rely on a government that's already suffering to try to have a budget for the schools. So we are not going to tolerate parents that don't pay school fees. I know that it's not an easy thing to communicate, but we can't continue to drink. We can't continue to prioritize nice time. We can't pr continue to prioritize our kids having Christmas clothes. But come January, there's no uniform. Uh, let's think, South Africans, let's think. But as far as the foreign parents are concerned, next year when the schools open, if it means I must go to all schools as much as I can, in January, February, I'll go to these schools. In any case, in February, we're doing random school searches at problematic schools to get rid of guns and weapons in schools and drugs in schools. I might as well incorporate this agenda in that program and make sure that we address the schools, we address the parents to say that our academic institutions are not going to be taken for a ride. And this we are saying very softly, it's a fair warning, warning short. The next one is not going to the sky. The embassy says they are going to pay. The school fees that is a 